when Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Kind of a strange action, isn't it? To get as near to the Lord as possible, right at his feet, and say, Go away. He's saying, I know that's what I deserve, but I don't want it. Peter was saying, if the Lord could see the fish in the bottom of the sea, he can certainly see the sin in the bottom of my heart. I'm transparent to him. It's a great lesson when we seek to be a servant to the Lord, to learn that he's called us to be holy. Now, it's not that we're sinless, but it's that we stand with God against sin. And so in this occasion, Peter acknowledges his sin, but he doesn't run away from the Lord. He runs to him. And if I'm going to be his servant, if I'm going to be holy as he is holy, then I'm going to take sin seriously. And I'm going to discover the answer to it is to be transparently honest with God. I mean, how is it that I am so deluded that when I sin, I hide it from him. I know he knows. And the enemy says, you know, if you come clean with him, he won't love you as much. Well, he, he knew every sin I'd ever commit. He knew that. And when he redeemed me, he included in my redemption the cost of my retraining. It's all settled. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Does that make me go out and live like the devil? It makes me love him more and drop at his feet and say, Lord, you know what I'm like. And I ought to be banished from your presence forever. But I don't want that. And he draws us to him. And of course, in that drawing is the antidote, isn't it? What's the antidote to sin? Well, it's occupation with the Lord Jesus. I say, don't think about that pen. I'll put it away so you don't see it. There we go. You're not cooperating, are you? That's all you're thinking about. And the only way to fix it is to think about this pen, isn't it? And so it is in our lives. We are bombarded with thoughts that are dishonoring to God. And the only antidote is to get down at his feet and look up into his face. It's the only thing to bring every thought into captivity to Christ. 